Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. For today's video, I'm going to be testing out a very exciting eyeshadow palette. Basically, Makeup Revolution came out with a Friends collab. Friends is life. I am obsessed with Friends. I can't tell you how many times I've watched the episodes. I'm never not in the middle of watching Friends. I've watched it like over 50 times. I couldn't not buy anything from this collection, basically. I just wanted to buy something from this collection. I didn't get everything. I thought about it. I really did because I do love Friends that much. However, I was like, okay, not a lot of the shades are for me and I'm gonna end up wasting a lot of makeup. So I just got the main eyeshadow palette, this chunky boy. I mean, it's it's the main star of the show anyway. So I thought I would just get the main eyeshadow palette and to be fair, out of everything, this is kind of what grabbed my attention the most. If you'd like to see me testing out this eyeshadow palette, then please carry on watching. I just absolutely love the packaging for this. I just think it's so cute. I love it. Yeah. This is gonna be a very basic, natural, neutral. <laughs> eyeshadow look and I'm not sorry about it because it's, that's just what I like. I was actually quite excited for these shades because there's quite a lot of shades that I know that I'm going to love. There's only like three or four shades that I wouldn't touch. Look how pretty. So a couple of the bright shades like this blue and this purple for example I probably wouldn't use but for the most part I really like it and you get three highlighters down the middle as well so I haven't put highlighter on today. I just think this is so cute and I'm very excited to use this. i tell you what, I really hope these eyeshadows blend. I'm just saying. So what should I go in with? So I'm thinking of going in with Carol as she is a very pretty nudey tan shade which will be good for the crease. I love Carol. I think she's a sweetie. I mean, yeah, she dumps Ross but um, I think she's such a cool character. I really like that shade. It is... I don't know how to describe it. I just love how warm toned it is. I just think this is so, so pretty. I love that shade. That could actually end up being like my favorite color in this palette. Oh, by the way, yeah. So Carol is this like tanny brown shade there. Just thought I'd show you. I love that. That's such a cute little base shade. I think we might go in with Paolo. I love that they are some of the names that they include in this. I'm just thinking genius. So Paolo is this like rusty burnt orangey shade, which looks quite cute. So I'm just gonna put that in the outer bit of my eye and see how that looks. I don't know how much to pick up. I'll just pick up a little bit. Yeah, Paolo was horrible. I think that's looking quite nice. Wow, this is like the most colour I've put on my eye in like a century. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but I, I literally don't do anything with my eyes, which is why I only bought this one palette. That is really cute. I don't know if it's going with the blusher that I've put on. That's fine. She's cute. Can you see that? Probably not. But there we go. Right. What other colours are quite neutral and basic? <laughs> I do wish there was like a matte dark brown in here and a black there's not a black not that i would put black on my eyes a matte dark brown is kind of what i'm seeing is missing here the thing closest to a dark brown is chandler so chandler is like a shimmery dark brown so i know they say not to put shimmers in your crease but should we just have a go at putting chandler in like the very outer corner could ruin the whole look Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. I like went on really light handed and kind of just put it on top of the rusty orange shade and it's kind of just given like a dark shimmer on top of like the orangey shade. I actually quite like it. I didn't really want too much pigment and I actually think it looks quite cool. So we're using the shade Chandler. Chandler is... Oh, I always can't decide between if Chandler or Joey is my favourite character. I kind of switch. I'm not too sure. No, you know what? I think Joey's my favourite character. I do. I think... I do love Chandler though. He is like my second favourite character. We are also having just the tiniest bit of fallout I thought I would just mention. It seemed to just be like the darker shades is what I noticed. I mean, this isn't my daily eyeshadow, but to be fair, if I was like going out for like a nice few drinks or something, I would probably wear eyeshadow quite similar to this. I think I want 
a shade going from like the center sort of highlighting the inner corner <laughs> i'm gonna go in with there's quite a few pretty shades here actually i'm actually thinking to go with rachel which is this like really gorgeous light goldy shade but i also think barry's quite pretty that's also really nice gold as well there are quite a, a lot of nice light shimmery shades i'm gonna go in with rachel do i go in with a brush we can see how it looks with a brush That is super pretty. Rachel is probably the character I most <laughs> feel like I'm like. Just simply just because, I mean, I love how into her fashion she is and I feel like I am too. She loves shopping. She's a complete shopaholic, same as me. She can't cook. I vibe with that and I don't know. I just love her. I think she's cute and ditzy and I relate to that. I think I'm gonna take Carol again under my eyes and also, oh! Oh no. I was about to say I think there is a dark brown, Mr. Geller, but that looks more like a dark purple to me. Can you see? Or is that a dark brown? Oh my god, am I being... Is that dark brown or is that dark purple? I actually can't tell. But you know what? I think that is their version of a dark brown. I feel like I probably could have used that, but it's fine. I finished the eye now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go in with Carol and Paolo underneath the eyes. And then I want to use one of these highlighter shades. Estelle, I feel like, will be too dark, so I'll probably just use that as an eyeshadow. An ugly naked guy is kind of like a pinky shade. Mr. Heckles is looking pretty good right now. Oh dear. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with Mr. Heckles. This middle, like, champagne-y highlighter here. He's looking cute right now. I'm just saying, it's weird, this little brush in my inner corner. That is pretty. Okay, I'm now gonna mix Ugly Naked Guy and Mr. Heckles and put it on my cheekbones to see what it looks like. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, wow. I just wanted it to be a little bit lighter, but I didn't want the pink coming through so much from Ugly Naked Guy. So I think I'm just gonna finish off with some mascara and lipstick. So that is my finished eyeshadow look. I kind of thought like I wanted to do an interesting eyeshadow look, but I know that on a day-to-day -day basis, I just put like a little brown shade in my crease. I don't really do much. And when I was starting to use a couple more shades, I know that this is the most basic eye look, like I know. But for me, I was like, oh, it's going too dark. It's gonna go too smoky. But because of the Rachel shade, the gold, it's really highlighting the whole eye. I actually think I would probably wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it looks so pretty. I love the mix of the shades that I used. Yeah, yeah, there's probably a lot of shades in this palette I wouldn't use. Like Phoebe is a fluorescent orange, like no, I'm never gonna use that. However, I thought they all blended great, like 10 out of 10. Had no problems with the blending or anything. I'm sorry I didn't get any more from the collection and that I just got this. However, I would completely recommend this if you are a Friends fan. If you're not a Friends fan, although, I mean, I guess it wouldn't really appeal to you then. I think it's definitely worth the money. I think it was 20 pounds, if I'm right. Definitely worth it, especially the fact that it's just Friends. I just think it's so cute. If you're a Friends fan, you need this. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!